Okay guys, so something completely different again today. As you can see, we've got this very interesting little cam lock. Uh, now this is actually a Miwa uh, SG2280, I believe. Um, it's actually uh, off a, um, like an arcade game machine. I believe one of the uh, Sega driving games is actually how it was sold to me. Um, so quite an interesting little lock actually. As you can see by the keyway there, once again, we don't see keyways like that very often. And if you actually look at the key itself, once again, you can see there's no bit in there. Now this actually actually has magnetics or magnets sorry um, it's got four magnets on this side and four magnets on the other on the other side which interact with um some sliders within the actual uh, lock here itself. Um, now this only has three sliders. Um, has uh, has four openings for sliders. So I don't know if some of them have four and some of them have three. Um, I have actually seen one of these uh, picked on YouTube before and that had three as well. So uh, this is exactly what this has got. Obviously you put the key in, obviously it works absolutely flawlessly. And once it's uh, actually open, obviously you've got key retaining there. And that's done via a little, uh, um, like a steel bar, like a sprung loaded steel bar. Uh, as you, as you uh, turn the, um, the key, um, the actual uh, side of the lock body pushes the actual uh, little bar into this little groove here, as you can see. We'll have a little look into that once we actually get the uh, lock picked. I'll tell you what we do, rather than waffle on, we'll uh, get it in the vice and uh, we'll see if we can get it picked. And then, of course, we'll take it apart. I'll show you all the uh, wonderful little components inside. And obviously with it being a magnetic lock, obviously we're going to have to have a uh, magnetic pick, um, which uh, I've just literally just made now. Um, so of course we've got uh, a tiny little uh, one mil uh, magnet just uh, super glued onto an old pick. Um, so I think that should do the trick. And uh, obviously to tension it, I've used this, um, I believe it's a car wafer lock. Um, sort of a tensioner which actually fits in there absolutely perfectly um so what i'm going to do i'm just going to get you zoomed in a bit just get centered up so let's see if i can keep my fingers and thumbs out the way here he says confidently okay i think we're gonna to have to do this uh this way like this i think we should be fine there it's quite hard to get hold of it actually um okay so i think we're there um okay so let's get the uh magnetic pick now as i said we've got sliders on the uh on both sides here which need to sort of be brought into the lock so the lock doesn't rotate um i'll explain more once we actually get the uh the lock actually open okay so we're going to apply some tension now we're gonna have to have quite varied tension because we're gonna have to uh as we get one slider um, picked and um, we're just gonna have to kind of balance the actual tension to actually uh make sure we don't lose that one so we can get the other one because they're all sprung loaded as well Okay, so we're going to go right to the back of the lock. I don't know if you can hear, you can actually hear the magnets and the sliders sort of working there. Now once we get this pick, we'll get into a small false set, um, which uh, we need to get that one's done. Once again, we'll get this one here done, which should get us into a deeper false set, as you can see there, um, which should just leave the uh, third and final slider, which once again will counter-rotate. And, oh yeah, we are there. So not actually too bad at all. Once you know how the, the lock works, um, they're quite easy to uh, to overcome. But listen, what I do, I take it apart and I'll show you all the bits inside. And I'll show you why and how all this works. Let's get a pin and try over. Okay, let's just get you down there, get you zoomed in. Okay, so what we do, we get locked back up again. Take this little uh, nut off there. I'm just going to get a screwdriver to prise this little um, retaining clip off. He says, that's good. Okay, that should be that bit there. It should come up relatively straightforward. Okay, that's good. Let's just put those bits over there. Right, okay, so listen, let's put the key back in. And uh, we can now take this out gently we'll come back to the lock body in a minute um, so this is the little retaining um, pin there as you can see it's sprung loaded so as it rotates around to show you in the lock body um, you've got this little um, cut out there where it sits when it's uh, when the key's not in there and as the key rotates obviously the actual see where the body reduces down so it actually pushes the actual clip into the key um, quite a clever little idea quite simple Take that out, I'll just show you that actually. Just like a steel 
um, pin um, which works fantastically well as you know um, got a little spring in there we don't need to worry about that so as we take these out obviously they're all sprung loaded as you can probably see there so you put the key there we go that's one two gone um, just take that out now we we'll just put that over there so these are obviously the sliders um, as you can see the two magnets there um, and actually uh, the actual well, it's actually orientated that way so of course this bit here catches on with the actual body inside there as you can see we've got these little cutouts in there so this will actually interact with there and just kind of get hooked up on that um, quite a clever simple idea I like that so of course they just as you can see now obviously if I've got it orientated that way as you put the key in it just sucks the actual uh, sliders in and it's obviously you'll let it fr um, freely rotate let's just dump these two out there and these two here so obviously you can see the actual body there and as you can see the four cutouts there so i believe that maybe some of them have got four and some of them have got three or maybe they just like to uh, orientate the sliders in different um orientation there to uh, keep everyone on their toes um so obviously i'm guessing that where they sit on this bottom plinth here there's not a lot of material there because obviously the magnet needs to sort of go through that as well so quite an interesting little design i like that um, all the sliders are the same they've probably just got the uh, north and south uh, pulled magnet slightly differently but um, yeah wonderful little things obviously these are st uh, some, uh, steel um, sliders um, probably uh, hardened steel as well to make sure they don't wear out because they're all looking pretty good Nick and of course we've got these little um, brass uh, s uh, springs there which obviously just makes sure they don't um, interact with the actual uh, magnet side of it so all in all not a bad little lock actually there as you can see the four little grooves there in the actual lock body um, yeah so quite an interesting little lock and I've never picked a, a magnetic lock before so I'm quite pleased that that one was relatively straightforward but anyway guys I hope, listen, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, of course that is the um, the Miwa SG2280 listen guys have a great day and I'll catch up with you soon